there are so many problems in the field. For example, your seed is good, the ter germination capability is good, and the purity percentage of your seed is good. But when he, you have sowed the seed in the field, there are so many unfavorable environment which can exist in the field, like the moisture level of the soil may be very much higher or maybe lower than the requirement. Second, uh, there is existence of insects, so many and so much insects in the field. There may be so many soil-borne pathogens, soil-borne fun fungi and bacteria. So due to those factors, your seed, the, although the purity or the germination percentage of your seed are good, but your seed may not germinate. So then we consider that field factor 80 means that if we sow 100 seeds due to the field factor, due to the different existing field conditions, prevailing field conditions, 80 seeds will germinate and 20 will not germinate. Just we consider the existing factors which are available in the field, we consider that. So field factor 80 means if we sow 100 seeds, then due to the factors available in the field, 80 will germinate and 20 will not germinate. Do you understand, Delaware? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So thank you, sir. Sir, maximum problem is sir, field factor will not be given. No, no, no. You will, uh, all the things will not be given, like field factor, person purity, person germination. No, any all the things will not be given in the question. Just in the question, you will be given the area and the name of the crop. And all the things you have to give from your brain, not from the question paper. Okay, Dilawar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam 329. Yes. Sir, I am Sir, I am Sir, I am Sir, I am Sir, I Sir, I am 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 Sir, Link Have you taken the photo of your? But you, you can uh, copy the photo and paste it in the chat box. Is it possible? Sir, copy the chest column, sir. Oh, sir, share share Share. Uh, if you share, uh, can I see that? Yes, sir. Uh, so share, share it. Okay, sir. Three hundred twenty-nine. You can uh, just <coughs> on your video and uh, just uh, take take the video and show. It may be another way because Tasnim did it. 329, are you hearing? Just you can sh on your video and take the video of your script. Uh, sir, give me a second. Huh? Sir, uh, okay. sir, back at me, sir. Two minutes, sir, please. Okay, 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 okay. Take time, no problem. <clears throat> So today we will discuss, today we will discuss 
Stable Crop Blender. All of you can see this. <coughs> Tia Shaha, can you see the rose? Uh, Munna, Munna, can you see the rose? Yes, sir. And Aritro from section B. Aritro, are you present or can you see? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, how how are you? How are you? Uh, it is long can since find, that. Uh, there is no contact with you. Yes, sir. Are you okay? Fine. Yes, sir. I'm fine, sir. So uh, what, is, sir? what is the condition of your group members? Group six. Sir, everyone is fine, sir. Everyone is fine. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, welcome you all. Uh, just Ro Rosie, Rosie, welcome. Actually, we will not discuss rose today. We will discuss uh, crop calendar. Uh, crop calendar, do does anyone among you has idea on crop calendar? Anyone can respond. Sadia Hawk. Sadia Hawk. Are you hearing me, Sadia Hawk? Yes, sir. Sir, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Do you have any idea uh, about crop calendar? Crop calendar. Sir, prot mane ek ek ta sa clear to dharana nai, kintu ekta bochore ek bochore hisabe. Sharabotor Kiki crop hoy oi crop erecta calendar as a servivino or parameter gulasham program idea nice. Okay. Okay, okay. You are you are okay. You're right. Uh, okay, then Onamika, Onamika, are you hearing me? Onamika? Yes, sir. Do you have any idea on crop calendar? What is crop calendar? Or hot maybe crop calendar? Uh, sir, uh, a crop for a hobby, pundai, for a hobby, each type of calendar. Sir, Tamakunu. Okay. Tain. Tain. Are you hearing me, Tain? From section D. Tain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any idea, Tain, about crop calendar? Mm. Is a kun mashakun fossil edit? <coughs> uh, only the time of planting, or we can no, get... planting and harvesting, uh, fertilizer uh, okay. application. Okay, okay, okay. Fahim 196. Fahim, are you hearing me? Fahim, yes, sir. Do you have any idea on crop calendar? No, sir. No, okay. Rokono Jaman 195. Are you hearing me, Rokono Jaman? Yes, sir. Do you have any idea on crop calendar? Mm, okay. <coughs> Mariam, Mariam, are you hearing me? Mariam Islam, 158. Yes, sir. Do you have any idea on crop calendar? Sir, uh, calendar we calendar Okay. Uh, so, uh, actually, thank you all that, that some of you are not sleeping and you are participating with me uh, so i will expect uh, in all of my classes you all will participate i will talk and you will talk then it will be interesting and you will be interested in doing the classes 
otherwise you will not have interest just you will join and then you will sleep or you will do another jobs uh, and just i will i will be in zoom meeting and will show different slides but you will not see or you will not hear anything so it will be in a vague condition there will be no out output uh, my issue is that the things i will share it is not required it is not possible also that you can capture 100% or 80% or i may tell that you can capture 50% it is not possible it may not be possible online because it is online uh, but it is possible that you can capture 20% or 30% or uh, you can participate with the topic so it will be fruitful if we can capture 20% of the total class it will be fruitful uh, so uh, please participate with me when i will, uh, i will ask anyone or i ask anyone then just respond so that uh, you are in this platform actively and not inactively that only you have joined and now you are in another arena like dream you are sleeping and dreaming or you are doing the other choices in home so okay sir uh, yes tell sir crop planner shomonte ki ami ekটু bolte parbo okay 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 you are very welcome sir crop calendar hocche je kono crop seed theke crop production porjonto je tar planting sowing harvesting shop information gulo crop calendar deya thake okay okay yes 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 uh, you are right you are right thank you uh, actually <coughs> all of you are right uh, actually crop calendar you see on the screen it's a directory that means it's a it's a material where we can find different things different information about the crop what are those informations like dates of planting or harvesting and not only that but all the activities of a single crop land preparation weeding thinning irrigation grafting budding drainage fertilizer application that means all the intercultural operations of a single crop mind it of a single crop the things sir, from okay tell tiash sir i cannot see the slide sir um, uh but i can see the files what others can see the slide others can see the slide no sir yeah others please uh, no sir no one is seeing the slide no sir no one is seeing the slide no sir how is it possible desktop is a folder gula so ola dekha jacche but no slide dekha jacche na please open the file sir i have opened the file but uh, what's the problem okay uh, wait now do you see sps yes now we can see them. now you yes, see sir. ts Okay, yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. So actually, crop calendar is a directory which can contain different informations regarding a single crop. Mind it, crop calendar may be crop basis, may be month basis. Uh, here I have told you two scenario, two option. crop calendar may be crop basis second crop calendar may be month basis 
the crop basis calendar just show all the activities regarding a single crop. For example, lettuce finger. So crop calendar may be digital, may be written, may be graphical. Crop calendar may be digital, may be written on a script, may be graphical on a script. So if the crop calendar is crop basis, then we will get all the activities of a single crop and all the activities when we will do all the activities uh, in which month of a single crop, then we can get that. We can know. If it is month basis or monthly crop calendar, then we get the information on the basis of the month. For example, January. That means in the month of January, what are the activities of which of, of different crops? What are the activities we can do, we can perform of different crops in this month? This money crop calendar show that. And, and another, there is another crop calendar. So if the crop calendar is crop basis or month basis, it is written. It is written. That means written from form. Just to write the information. And there is another type of crop calendar. The type is graphical or pictorial. There, we will uh, see uh, that crop calendar also today. So there, we don't write the information. Just we show the information on the graph. Just we prepare graph. We prepare picture. And we show that. We will see that uh, in the just in the last and at the last time of the class, we will see that pictorial form or graphical form. Sorry. So here you see. These are the advantages. And actually, why we will follow, why we will practice, why we will make crop calendar, it is showing that. So, here you see, What is the requirement of, of a crop calendar? We have to make crop calendar because we want to know the requirement. If we have crop calendar, we can know the requirement in advance. Just think that we have to cultivate brinjal or eggplant. So, if we have crop calendar and it is the month of April now, so if we see the monthly crop calendar, then we can see, yes, these are the activities of the April. So we can take sufficient or required necessary steps in advance <laughs> to manage the inputs and materials of that crop. Second, if we have crop calendar, we can know the planting and harvesting time of various crops. <clears throat> when it is month of, for example, December, when we see the crop calendar, we can know, yes, it is the month of sowing onion. When it is month of 
April or March, then you can know, yes, it's the time to show the lal shak, jhinga, or pointed gourd, or tissel gourd, we can know. If we have crop calendar in front of us. Similarly, if we have crop calendar, we can make an efficient cropping scheme. <coughs> when we see, when we just keep our eyes on the crop calendar on different month, so we can know what are the crops we can accommodate in our field. So we can make an efficient cropping scheme. Similarly, it will help us to adjust different crops. And if we have crop calendar, we can know the different field operations of different crops. And finally, if we have crop calendar, then we can distribute our labor. When we see that we have now, uh, we have to uh, harvest the onion and simultaneously we have to uh, sow the seeds of kunshak, we have to sow the seeds of ladies finger, we have to sow the seeds of summer brinjal, then we can just divide our labor and we can distribute our labor to the different parts of our field activities. Then, Actually, this is the crop calendar, which is month-wise, monthly crop calendar. If you notice here, then you will see in the month of January, what are the activities we can do and which activities of which crop. If you see the first column, during January, month of January, of which crop we can prepare land, we can see. Here you see, during month of January, we can prepare the land for the pointed gourd, batishak, brinjal, snake gourd, bitter gourd, sweet gourd. So for these crops, we can prepare the land. Similarly, of which crop we can sow the seed or transplant the seed, seedling. This information we can get from the second column. We can sow the seed or transfer the seedling, transplant the seedling of brinjal, pointed gourd, batishak, and onion, transplanting of onion seedlings. And actually, intercultural operations are the operations which you can do of different crops. Here, you can write a specific or not a specific. They are just uh, the activities have been written. And if you write specifically of a single crop, that is also preferable. So application of pesticides, weeding, mulching, and time-to-time -time irrigation, these are the activities we can do. And finally, if you see the fourth column, then you see 
during month of January, we can harvest several crops like carrot, radish, lettuce, turnip, nolkhol, bean, broccoli, potato. Similarly, if you see February, then we will see we can prepare the land for Indian spinach, snake gourd, cucumber, bitter gourd, thistle gourd, sweet gourd, okra, turmeric. Just I will just tell you when you read or study the crop calendar, just make the relationship between the field, between field and the calendar. <coughs> just see the field around your home or around your house, see the field and think about the market. When you go to the market for shopping, shopping vegetables, your daily cooking vegetables, then think about that. And think about the month. <coughs> think about the month. Think about your surrounding field and think about the market. Which vegetables are available now? Then it will be easier for you to make a crop calendar. But if you don't do it and just memorize, then it will be tough for you to make a right and efficient crop calendar. <coughs> you will make the crop calendar, but the crop calendar will pose wrong information. You will write a crop, a name of the crop, under land preparation. But who is, uh, the actual thing will be like that. The land will not be prepared for the crop in that month. So it is important. Uh, just make relationship between or among field, among market. So that it will be easier and it will be an easy task. Then these are the crops, snake gold, sweet gold, bitter gold, cucumber, thistle gold. You see, uh, just for your convenience, in during the month, that means during the month of March, April, all the cucurbits, all the cucurbitaceous vegetables are sown. So when you know that these are the vegetables, these are the summer vegetables, then it will be easier for you to make the cup calendar. So here you see number one to five, all are golds. That means cucurbits. Then okra and turmeric. And then come to the harvesting. We can harvest cucumber, pointed gold, okra, bitter gold, rice gold, potato, onion, garlic. Then come to the month of March. We can prepare land for summer tomato, okra, puisha, ginger, turmeric. And we can sow seed or transplant seedlings 
for summer tomato, pushak, okra, sweet gourd, snake gourd, ginger, turmeric. And we can harvest snake gourd, eared long bean, pointed gourd, okra, rice gourd, cucumber, onion, garlic. If you consider the month of April, <clears throat> we can prepare land for Gima Kolbe. And just last year, <coughs> I think all of you prepared your plot, vegetable plot. And some of you, yes, sir. Some of you just sowed Gima Kolme. So can, can anyone tell me what is Gima Kolmi? What does Gima mean? Uh, in my class, I told it. What is Gi? What so does Gima mean? Gishokalin matite. Gishokalin wrong matite. Matite hai. Yes, yes, yes. Gima. Gima actually, it is Gi. If you consider Bengali, just Bengali term. It is Gima. Gi means Grishokalin. And Mi means Mati. Normally, you know, Kolmi, uh, it is a crop. Uh, it is am amphibious type crop. Amphibious, you know, that means it is grown on the area where there is land, that means terrestrial area and also aquatic environment. That means terrestrial and aquatic. Soil and aquatic, dry, dry soil, and also aquatic environment, amphibious environment. Call me is grown. That means there is relationship between water and call me. But this call me is another type. It is mati, gima. That means grishokal in mati. We don't cultivate it on water we cultivate it in the field for this reason it is called mati kolmi i think you understand so gima kolmi indian spinach wax gourd wax gourd do you know what is wax gourd wax gourd is also called white gourd kumra uh, which kumra yes chal kumra yes yes chal kumra then cucumber, batishak, ginger. Similarly, we can sow seed or transfer seedlings for Gima Kolmi, Indian spinach. Now tell me, in case of Gima Kolmi, uh, do we transfer seedlings or do we sow seed? It's so broadcasting. Broadcasting? Uh, have you... Uh, uh, among you, who sowed Gima Kolmi last year? Who sowed Gima Kolmi last year? Among you? Is there anyone who is hearing me and he sowed Gima Kolmi last year? There is no one. Yes, there is someone, but he, he or she is sleeping. Normally, sir, is uh, What, 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 what? Sir, I am Okay. Uh, what was the method of planting? So maybe lime <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But although, although after a long period due to COVID nineteen, uh, so thank you very much that. Uh, you can you can memorize the thing that you have sowed Gima Kolmi using line sing method. Yes, the method which is followed to sow the seeds of Gima Kolmi that is line sowing, not broadcasting. Not broadcasting method. Line sowing method is done. Then Indian spinach, wax gourd, pointed gourd, okra. 
cucumber, batishak, ginger. And similarly, we can harvest this crop, wax gourd, yard long bean, chisel gourd, bitter gourd, mukikochu. And for your information, normally in the exam, you will be asked to prepare the crop, cal crop calendar. For example, not for the whole area, whole year. You will be asked to prepare the crop, cal crop calendar for a specific month. So it is important to consider the crop which is available then. In case of May, we can prepare land for taro. Do you know what is taro? Kuchu. Hole. Hole. Hole, sir. Hole. Yes, yes, sir. Any, Taro. any, 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 any idea? Any idea? Taro. Is there anyone? Do you have any idea, Taro? No, sir. No. Sir, sir, uh, when you are in Zoom, have you options to search Google? Yes, sir. Search it and inform me. Kochu, sir. Kochu. Uh, have you searched? Yes, sir. Search it at the Kochu, yes, sir. Yes, it is, it is Kochu. Taro is Kochu. Taro is, is the, the another name of Taro is Aroid. A-R-O-I-D. Aroid. Then we can prepare land from diesel gourd, sponge gourd. What is sponge gourd? Anyone? Sponge gourd? Dundal. Yes, dundal. What is dundal? Eggdhrane shobji. What type of shobji? Shobus type of shobji, sir. Shobus type of shobji. Shobus type of shobji. Okay, then bitter gourd, cucumber, cucumber and rice gourd. <coughs> what is rice gourd? Rice gourd? Jinga. Church, India. Okay, Jinga. Uh, then seed sowing for taro, rice gourd, sponge gourd, bitter gourd, cucumber, chisel gourd. And harvesting for drum stick. What is drum stick? Uh, there is another name of drumstick. Can anyone tell? Anyone? Moringa. Moringa. Shojina is uh, Bangla, yes, Moringa. Moringa is another term. It is very much actually Moringa. Uh, who have answered? Do you know? Uh, what is the origin of the term Moringa? No, sir. Uh, actually, <coughs> the scientific name of drumstick is Moringa olifera. So Moringa have come from the genus name. So, uh, and actually, uh, other than drumstick, Moringa is widely used. Moringa. So moringa, data shark, diesel gourd, Indian spinach, and snake gourd. And what is snake gourd? Chichinga. Yeah. Chichinga, okay. And during the month of June, we can prepare, just see when the time is 
proceeding to the heavy rainfall to the month of June, July, August, you see the crops for which we can prepare the land, it is being narrowed. So we can prepare land for the yard long bean, wax gourd, and taro. Similarly, we can transfer the seedlings also. And we can harvest yard long bean, snake gourd, wax gourd, diesel gourd. And if you cultivate jute for the vegetable purpose, then you can harvest the uh, part shark now. Uh, I think the people who are from my mincing region, they are very much familiar with this. And maybe uh, just uh, in this week, many of you from the Mamensing region, they can have these vegetables in their menu. Because it is very much popular in Mamensing region. And during the month of July, we can prepare land for country bean. And brinjal, the brinjal, of course, the summer brinjal, and data shark. Oh, here her also, uh, so, uh, seed sowing or transplanting country bean brinjal and data shark. And harvesting for teasel gold, year long bean, pointed gold, data shark, Indian spinach, and taro. In the month of August, we can prepare land for spinach, gimakulmi, batishak, brinjal, country bean. And we can sow seed or transfer seedlings for spinach, gimakulmi, batishak, brinjal, and country bean. And we can harvest yard long bean, taro, Indian spinach, and data shark. In the month of September, just when we are just we are proceeding to the month of September, see all the winter vegetables have come. Yes, that means September. And actually, the reason, the area which is upland, like north, north, northwestern region of Bangladesh, Rangpur, Dinaspur, Gogra. So this area where there is upland, so they can start the winter vegetables first other than the other reason. Yes, the dry period prevails first there in the northwestern region of Bangladesh or northern region of Bangladesh. So in the month of September, they can do these operations. But in the low-lying areas, lowland, they uh, can start, uh, they start in the later months, or October, November, or sometimes where, where the land is very low, they start the winter vegetables in the month of December. So <clears throat> in the Northern region, it is very much important information for all of you if you want to catch the profit from the winter vegetables, if you want to catch the early profit, early season profit from winter vegetables, <coughs> you can do your project on vegetables, on winter vegetables in the north, northern region of Bangladesh. So the people who are staying, who are from northern region of Bangladesh, uh, you have plenty of options to be an entrepreneur 
vegetable entrepreneur. And you know, there is a foundation in Bangladesh. <coughs> uh, do you know, does anyone among you know the name of the company or foundation who is responsible for the export of vegetables and fruits to the foreign countries from Bangladesh? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what is the name of the foundation or company who, who which is responsible for the export of vegetables and fruits to the foreign countries? Marufa Akhtar Munni, do you have any idea? 146. Ma Mashrufa, Mashrufa Akhtar Munni, do you have any idea? No response. Gaji Muhammad Adnan Ehsan, Adnan Ehsan 149, do you have any idea? No, sir. No idea. Shanjida Rahman 155, do you have any idea? Shanjida? <coughs> No, Shanjida is uh, just inactively present, not actively. No, no, sir. No idea. No idea. Okay, then. Who, who, who have idea? What is, the, uh, what is the name of the foundation regarding vegetable and fresh vegetable, fresh vegetable and fruit export from Bangladesh? Foundation. Uh, who, who is telling? Who, who is telling? Cortex Foundation. Who is telling? I am telling. Who are you? What's your name? Shamsun Nahar. Hmm? Shamsun Nahar. Shamsun Nahar. ID? 1702128. Okay. Yes, Cortex Foundation. Thank you, Shamsun Nahar. Cortex Foundation. What is foundation is for the now uh, they are responsible for exporting fresh vegetables and fruits from Bangladesh. Okay, so uh, it it is an option uh, for all of you if you want to be an entrepreneur and if you want to catch uh, the early profit from the winter vegetables. So you can select the area from northern region of Bangladesh because that is upland and they can start the cultivation of winter vegetables in the month of September. Okay. So in the month of September, if your land is upland, you can uh, prepare the land for the tomato, potato, brinjal, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli. And similarly, you can sow the seeds of tomato, brinzel, potato, and you can trans transplant the seedlings of cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. And here you see, we have given the intercultural operations for a specific crop. For cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli, we can provide shade. It is important. It is uh, an important operation for those crops during when we transfer the seedlings, when we transfer the seedlings from the seed bed for the cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli to save, to protect it from the sunlight, to protect it from the sunlight, to protect the seedlings from the sunlight, we give shade. And if you notice, uh, your local, in your local area, or if you notice when you will be available in our campus, uh, just when you are visiting the horticulture farm, yeah, if you just uh, visit it during this month, then you will see normally we use 
the pseudo stem of banana, pseudo stem of banana. It is normally used. The pseudo stem of banana, the cover, just a cover. We use that cover to provide the shade of the seedlings of cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. Okay, it is important operation to save, to protect the seedlings from the sunlight. <clears throat> then we can harvest taro, lalshak, and datashak. Then, during the month of October, we can prepare land for potato, bottle gourd, spinach, batishak. Here, uh, an important thing, here there is a vegetable which is cucurbit, but is cultivated during winter season. Which one is, which one? Bottle gourd. What is bottle gourd? Lao. 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 Yes. So, Lao or bottle gourd is cucurbit, bit, but cultivated in winter. Uh, so, when you are prepared the, preparing the calendar, don't mix it with the summer vegetables. Similarly, uh, you can get uh, because uh, there are variations of uh, very uh, there are varietal variations, but actually, actually the crop is of winter season. Uh, it you can get because now the time is. Uh, the term is called open economy. Okay, open economy. That means maybe the crop is not from Bangladesh, maybe the crop from India, or uh, now the thing is changing. But absolutely and truly, the crop bottle gourd, you, you can, uh, if you want to cultivate quality bottle gourd, yes, you can get uh, in during summer bottle gourd, but the quality will not be like the quality which you can get during the winter season. And uh, it is also dependent on the area. You will not get it in all the regions of Bangladesh. But where the winter se season come, just comes first, then, for example, the potato goat is being grown in the north, northern region, but you are uh, getting it in the southern Chattogram or Cox's Bazar, like that. But you will not see any bottle goat cultivation there in Cox's Bazar. So, one case that the vegetable may come from the surrounding country, mostly India, and it may come from the uh, another part of the country. And third, uh, the, the uh, there is some variety which is uh, not truly suitable for summer but they are cultivating it. The quality is not up to the mark, but we can get. So sir, similarly, yes, tell. Sir, sir sorry, interrupt. No, 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 to a practical it a keep up with some how is it possible yes sir routine day this is a raga you must do it take a class here because uh, 
we have already just we we took only one class so it is uh, possible to uh, just cover a whole semester uh, just within two class two or three class এডমিনিস্ট্রেশন <laughs> to stop the class but some of uh, the departments they didn't follow that that is uh, another issue so forget about that uh, but the things um, that is important the the whole semester how can you cover okay just if you consider the uh, previous two class so 1 plus 2 3 and now 2 so five class is five class is sufficient for the whole semester So it is, uh, I don't know what is going on. Uh, just it is being done, but uh, how is it possible? Uh, just within five class, is it possible to cover the whole semester? Which we uh, just take four months of uh, in-person class. when we are in the campus we covered it just taking in person class and we take up to four months but now we are giving only five class i don't know okay so we will <clears throat> just we will see uh, what can be done but it's not a good uh, approach i think what is going on I don't, i don't know just doing routine and just publishing it uh, it's not a good approach i think okay forget about that <clears throat> so then seed sowing and transplanting of seedling for potato bottle gourd spinach batishak cauliflower cabbage carrot and another important operation uh, for bangladesh you know uh, a very much important very 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 important spice crop onion seed sowing of onion you can start now and uh, i have told you during seed rate calculation that normally above 90% 90% onion bulbs are grown from seed not from bulb you know there are two methods so seed sowing of onion can be done in october and similarly an intercultural operation adding up for cabbage we may practice and we can harvest lettuce spinach nalkhol and tomato and in the month of november we can prepare land for garlic for garlic it is also uh, another important spice crop <coughs> just simultaneously with onion uh, we can prepare land for garlic it is also another important crop for bangladesh and widely cultivated here <coughs> and similarly cauliflower and coriander and others and seed sowing and transplanting seedling of bottle gourd carrot cauliflower spinach seed sowing of onion garlic and a special intercultural operation for is taking of tomato <coughs> it is important operation is taking of tomato is done in the month of november and you can harvest carrot lettuce nalkhol tomato ginger and turmeric and in the month of december 
we can prepare lunch or brinjal, lettuce, lalshak, pointed gourd, tomato, onion, garlic. And similarly, we can sow seeds for pointed gourd, patishak, brinjal, lalshak, lettuce. And we can transfer the seedlings of onion. And another intercultural, important intercultural operation is for potato, ardigam is done now. And we can harvest radish, carrot, cabbage, cauliflower, bottle gourd, ginger, or turmeric. Now I have told you at first that <coughs> up to now, we have seen the written crop calendar written crop calendar. So there is another type of crop calendar called graphical or pictorial. Here you see, just say, consider this, this thing, this portion, this portion means, that means up to March and up to the last week, last week, see, this point, do you see the cursor? Yes, sir. Just see the point. That means last week of April, from March to last week of April, this time is called, here you see, this is called sowing time or transplanting time. So this, this period is sowing time or transplanting time. And this period is, <coughs> if you consider okra, the last, last week of July, to the up to the September, and this portion is called. It show shows harvesting period, and the rest that means up to from this last week of April to the last week of July. It is the growing period, except sowing and harvesting. So see here. The harvesting of country bean, it is from the middle, that means just from the starting of January, if you see here, just from the starting of January, uh, I don't know anyone is calling. Sorry, another student called with me over phone. Okay, see, just the harvesting period of country when it starts just from January and it's up to the month of March. But think about the harvesting season of bottle gold. It, it starts from the July and just that's up to the middle of August. So, uh, you see, uh, the chili starts from the March and lasts up to September and harvesting starts from August and lasts up to September and uh, sowing or transplanting starts from the March and just uh, it lasts up to the last week of March. So like chili and okra and metealu, chisel gourd, cucumber, snake gourd, disc gourd, sponge gourd, wax gourd, bottle gourd, sweet gourd, country bean, sweet gourd, sweet gourd, papaya, banana. And this is banana green, uh, which we use. And don't bother, we call anaji kola, it's for vegetable purpose. So, uh, in the examination, you may be asked to give the graphical or pictorial crop calendar. The question may be, may come like this way, or another way, 
the question may come that is called give the picture year crop calendar for these crops. That means crops may be given. Crops may be given. So study about the whole season of cultivation of different crops so that you can answer the question properly. Uh, so if graphical or pictorial crop calendar uh, is asked to give during examination, so you have to give this. And if a specified, a specific crops are given, then you will give just of those crops which are given in question paper. So this is... Uh, Sir? Okay, tell. Sir, can you please show the slide of July crop calendar? July. Okay, tell. Thank you, sir. I missed it. Okay. Now, okay, or uh, you need time? Okay, sir. Uh, have you taken a screenshot already? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, I have a query. Okay. Now uh, you have just. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Okay, okay I am hearing you. Uh, sir, uh, my question is not uh, regarding our today's topic. Uh, so, can I ask? Okay, okay, you can ask. Uh, sir, uh, as far I uh, I got to know that Alfonso is a great variety of mango and it's uh, grossly cultivated in our neighboring country, India, especially in the uh, Maharashtra state. Uh, yeah. But in our country, it's not uh, cultivated as like that much. So what's the reason behind this? Uh, can you please? Reason is, reason is uh, if, you, uh, if you have you searched uh, about it or not, I don't know. There is a problem in our country, and there is a problem not in our country, but uh, in the other districts also. Puffy, puffy fish, just in Alfon Alfonso Mango, uh, there is a problem. Actually, in, in our country, uh, if the cultivation it depends on the market, uh, just demand. Okay. Yes, sir. And actually, uh, the variety we cultivate and the varieties we cultivate, the people of Bangladesh, the variety they love, we cultivate that. For example, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, if you notice, uh, in the main region of the main area of mango cultivation is Tapai Nobukat. Yes. And uh, if you see there, Maximum garden is uh, just you know, more than 30 or 20 years old. So they are cultivating and they are producing those mangoes and they are producing year after year those mangoes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, we are, uh, uh, if, if you consider the heavy production of mango, we are cultivating the ex existing varieties. Mm -hmm. No new varieties have not been introduced in our country uh, in that context. Oh, okay. yes. That is the reason actually. Uh, so uh, Alfonso, uh, it is cultivating uh, in India. Uh, so uh, it, is not, uh, it has not been uh, that, that popular like the variety of Amropali or, or uh, the variety of Kipshapa, the variety of Fosli, the variety of Ashina, the variety of, uh, in if you consider the Rongpur region, Harivanga. Yes, so sir. these are the varieties which have been popular actually. So the farmers are cultivating because they need profits, they need money. Yeah. If cultivate any mango, uh, they will not, for example, if you are staying in uh, Rongpur, then all the people of Rongpur, they will uh, they 
will ask you for hari bhanga so you should give it alfonso they will not buy it uh, oh, actually yeah. uh, the main uh, the main thing uh, i will tell the main thing is the commercial demand yeah now i can understand thank you sir where are you from uh, sir i am from uh, chotogram oh, chotogram chotogram uh, mango production uh, what's the uh, condition of mango production in your area chotogram where chotogram this area uh, i am from the hill area uh, kaptai sir kaptai Uh, is there any mango orchard there kaptai um not so significantly but uh, uh, there is uh, like uh, malta and yes 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 malta uh, Mal- uh, uh, is there any commercial uh, malta orchard um yes sir but uh, not that famous and i uh, you know in chatogram anacardium occidental that is cashew nut cashew nut is being cultivated so yes yes sir yes sir uh, what are the prevalence uh, in your area uh, cashew nut is there any uh, uh, commercial farm cashew nut cultivation uh, not nearly but uh, i have uh, i have heard about a farm uh, quite new oh <coughs> yes but commercially uh, cashew nut is being Uh, widely cultivated commercially a commercial farm is uh, cultivating and uh, yes, they yes, are supplying it they are supplying it uh, okay is there anyone who have questions no sir recently je ekta khobor dekha giyechilo je lisu gache am dhore chilo eta ki sir possible 